Representative, we're taking a closer look at that in today's science segment with Julia Seeger. Hi, Julia. Uh, Hi, so Monty. Several departments in France are actually under a orange heat wave alert for the day. That's right. Seven departments, especially in the southeast of France, and uh, a, n a number of other, uh, of course, regions are going to experience very intense heat. Now, elsewhere the, in the world, heat records are being broken everywhere, as you just said in, in your report. But uh, we've seen the, the, the relentless heat wave scorching the U.S. south, especially Texas, but also the situation is almost becoming unbearable in certain parts of Mexico, China as well. We've recorded 50 degrees Celsius in Sambao, for instance. But also Senegal, Iran, and even Siberia have had record heats. Um, the current heat wave here in France is indeed due to what we call a heat dome. And the heat dome here in Europe has actually settled over the Mediterranean uh, basin, especially uh, Spain, the south of France, but also Italy. What exactly is a heat dome? So it's actually an expression that became popular only in 2021 after uh, the, the the heat wave in, in Canada because it explains really well what it is. Uh, a heat dome occurs when the atmosphere is going to trap uh, hot air. So what happens is you have an anticyclone that's going to stagnate over a region and the heat is going to accumulate underneath, kind of like underneath a lid or a cap. And because of the reverberation with uh, the earth, the temperatures are still going to rise. And usually, so this happens when at atmospheric movement uh, in higher altitudes is uh, uh, not sufficient to be able to create, uh, to, to bring new winds, right? Uh, so what happens is that it stops usually when you have a strong depression that's going to sweep all of that hot air. Now, another question also is when do you actually talk about a heat wave? And it was mentioned in the report that, you, that we just saw. It's when uh, you have record temperatures that um, subsist during daytime and nighttime for at least three days. Okay, so why is Europe experiencing such intense heat this summer? I imagine there's more than one reason. Yeah, of course, and already last year we experienced a very uh, uh, a very hot uh, season. So of course, climate change, as you said, but scientists are also looking into uh, the effects of something called the double jet stream. So we all know what the jet stream is, right? These are uh, these strong winds at mid mid altitude that flow uh, from um, west to east, right? And usually we hear about them because they tend to disrupt and delay planes. But but what happens more and more during the summer is that these double jet stream are actually going to split into two. So the jet stream becomes double. Maybe we can take a look at that diagram. So this is indeed the jet stream. It's going to split when it comes right before it hits Europe. It splits into two. And one of the legs is going to become so weak that it's going to fail to disrupt the atmosphere and create the rains that we actually need and the wind that we need. So part of it, uh, part of the wind is going to go south. Part of it is going to go north. And Western Europe is going to be in the middle with no wind. And this is why you're going to have more and more these uh, these uh, heat, heat caps, if you will. Uh, now, scientists are also looking into the role of El Nino. Now, you may have heard of that as well. This is a, a natural climate phenomenon that happens every three to seven years. It lasts about six to 18 months. And what happens there is that you have a decrease in winds over the Pacific Ocean this time. And uh, what's that? that's going to create a rise in the surface water temperatures. And that's going to have a domino effect everywhere in the world. You're going to have rising temperatures pretty much everywhere, and you're going to have heavy rainfalls in the U.S., Central Asia, and uh, Eastern Africa. Meanwhile, uh, in, for instance, Australia, Central America, and South Asia, you're going to have severe drought. Now, usually, Europe uh, is actually spared by this phenomenon, but what scientists are, are worried about today is the combination between El Nino and climate change, and that could create a new concept, a new phenomenon called Super El Nino. Now, it's it's important to stress that this is only, for now, a hypothesis. Uh, there's still much that we don't actually understand about how climate actually works. And tomorrow you'll be looking at uh, how to protect yourself because these extreme temperatures can be really, really dangerous. Very dangerous uh, for health. We'll be digging into deeper how to uh, uh, go about these heat waves indeed. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot, Julia.